If you are looking for a slick fade with a nice taper, there's a new barber shop in the neighborhood. Oh, yes. Rachel Wolf is live out in Woodland to tell us more about this poppin' place. What's going on there, Rachel? This is CTV Hair Studio. It's on Main Street, and it's in a beautifully renovated historic building. And this is the man in charge right here, Christian Contreras. He is... He is working his magic and serious manscaping. It's not just the ladies. No, 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 no. <laughs> nope. Guys like to be high and tight as well. Yes. <laughs> tell, me, uh, tell me, what are you doing here this morning? So here today we're doing the fade on my customer Juan. He comes every week. He gets right. Um, right here we got all the barbers here working in the morning. We always start pretty early. You said 8 o'clock you guys open. Yeah, 8 o'clock, sometimes till like 10 p.m. Now, you have a few of your friends here. So. Um, tell me your story. You're from Pioneer High School graduate. You've been doing this for a long time. I mean, like more than five years. Yeah, five years. <laughs> I started when I was 14. In your garage, you told me. Yeah, started in my garage. And was that the thing to do, or is that a way that you could make money? No, well, like, I didn't, like, I always wanted to do something. Like, I didn't like just being at home. I played sports and stuff, but I wanted a job, and I couldn't get a job because I wasn't 16, so I couldn't apply anywhere. So I always was in the barbershop and I just thought it was so cool to cut hair. Like I thought it was like, okay, like I need to cut hair. It's cool, they make a lot of money and I can see myself doing it. And I just started practicing with my brother and then little by little like my soccer teammates were like, bro, I need a haircut and then I want a haircut. And I just went from there and then now it turned into this. Yeah, I know. Well, yeah. It, it, yeah. how was that first haircut on your brother, by the way? It, <laughs> so me, I always thought I was really good. Even though I sucked, I always thought I was good. So like I would like show off to my like friends, I'd be like, bro, like let me cut your hair like I'm hecka good, I can do it better than so and so. So I always believed in myself, but now I look back at it, I wasn't good. But that confidence I think is what helped me like get to where I'm at. That's right, that's right. So uh, how how are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? <laughs> yeah, I know you've got the whole like up here and you know, got me feeling good. <laughs> that's the key, right? That's the yeah, key. Every week. Every week you come every in. Week. Every week. Wow. I bet his girlfriend. You know, she appreciates that. All right, all right, let's go on over here. We have one of your friends. You also, did you go to high school with him? Yeah, I went to Pioneer. I uh, graduated a couple years earlier. We got so the Pioneer Posse. Yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> What's been uh, uh, the biggest thing about operating here in downtown Woodland? You guys are young people coming back to Main Street when a lot of businesses move away. Yeah, it's been hard, especially with the pandemic. Um, now, finally, with things reopening, things are lo looking a little better for us. Uh, it helps that the location is pretty centric. We're right in the middle of downtown, and... Thankfully, uh, we've been lucky enough to uh, take up on a, a pretty good building. So I think this is going to help uh, bring in a lot of clientele. And uh, it's, it's a, lot of, a lot of young barbers, so um, it's going to help a lot, attract a lot of uh, young customers. And hopefully, you know, we'll, we'll be uh, one of the best barbershops in town. Very good. Thank you so much. I just want to draw attention to the marketing man. He's got his own hype man right here. <laughs> He's doing all the marketing. And the O-lights. This is not your mama's barbershop. <laughs> so, this is a little more upscale, and that's the influence of the younger generation bringing it back home here to Main Street in Woodland. Mm -hmm. Very nice. I love yeah. his story too about how you built the confidence. <laughs> it's like when I look back, I suck, but I thought it was good. <laughs> and that's what you need.